In today's video, I want to talk to you about how self-sufficient I've been this year. I'm going to give you an update on all the things that have been happening on the plots, and we'll look at some of the crops that I've been taking home and enjoying throughout the last few months. When I first started out this growing year, I said to myself that I wanted to grow three vegetables um, for my meals every week of the year. That was my aim, my ambition. And in today's video, we're going to look at how well I've done through the year so far. Before we dive into the video, if you haven't done so already, I'd love to have you along for my growing journey. Why not hit the subscribe button down below and join the community? Whether you're a new gardener or someone who's been gardening for a long time, there's always something for everyone in my videos. I'd really love to have you along for the ride. Thanks. Starting the year, there was a real concern that I wouldn't have enough food to last me so i went through from about april and i said okay this year i'm going to have three vegetables off of the plot every week that i can use in my food the lettuce was delicious and i was harvesting leaves every week as well i just really loved picking a salad bag every week and taking that home and thinking gosh that would be like three pounds in the supermarket rolling into june and july the courgette still wasn't ready and um, a lot of the squash was still very immature and young. Fortunately, the tomatoes started coming through. The first to ripen were the Atomic Sunset tomatoes, which are beautiful. Then the Black Beauty started ripening, and actually I have lots of tomatoes coming off of them. The Black Cherry also did really well, and I started getting a few punnets through from that. And slowly but surely, my harvest baskets were filling up. Again, thankfully, my winter salads were still romping through. I said lots of lettuces to pick. Beetroot was really good at the start of the year. So I was fulfilling that promise that I made myself that I'd have three vegetables to eat. It's really important, and I cannot stress this enough, to try and get some very staple vegetables in the ground, sort of. And I think if you've got the space and the resources to do it, then try and grow stuff over the autumn and winter too, because it's got a good, foothold for the first start of the year and if you get a very cold season like we did in the UK then what that means is that you can still harvest lots of salads even though your tomatoes and other crops are taking a little bit longer to catch up and once they do catch up obviously you can take the winter salads out you can even keep a few for seeds and pick them and then sow them again later in the season I did that with my Mitsuna and the second crop is just as good it's so prolific Midsummer and the courgettes have finally caught up. I was so excited to have courgettes coming off of the plot. Unfortunately, the beans didn't really come to anything. Lots of my leafy greens outside, really big fails. <laughs> Thankfully, I did have some kale to pick outside, but I still haven't quite cracked broccoli and cauliflower. So there's a couple of vegetables that I cannot grow to this day. The four runner bean plants that I've planted are incredible and I have lots and lots of crops coming off of them i'm picking them every day almost uh, they're getting so big and the site, site over here where i'm growing them on the small space garden which i'll talk about in another video they are much more productive than the one plant over there but it doesn't matter i still have lots of them coming off the plants and i'm really enjoying the runner beans in my meals i'm enjoying courgette risottos at the minute with all the abundance of courgettes that i'm getting off one plant really happy that i only sowed one courgette plant this year hedged all my bets on this one plant and i was like this is going to be the plant that i'm going to put all my attention into and i was hoping that it would do something and thankfully it did it's been phenomenal and i think it's still going to have a couple of a few more weeks life left in it we are recording this in the middle of september so there is still hopefully some life left in that courgette it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't have too much mildew on the leaves either. The tomatoes are in full swing. The Black Beauty have been incredible. I've actually been saving some seeds off of the really strong ones that have been coming off the plot. I had some really good success with Fandango F1. So this is a blight resistant variety of tomato. However, it has now succumbed to blight. It's the one tomato in the polytunnel that actually had lots of blight uh, and it got it on the stem as well. So I had to pull that out. The others are looking fantastic and they're still going. I've got about 22 tomatoes still coming out on my plants and I'm really happy. I appreciate that a lot of you have lost tomatoes in the UK this year and I lost all of my outdoor tomatoes as well. 
However, I've been managing to keep those 10 in the polytunnel going for, well, right up until now. I cannot finish this video without giving a very big honourable mention to the raspberries. They have been incredible this year. I've had six punnets of raspberries already off of one spot. My freezer's filled up, I'm having raspberries in my bowls, and it's, I just feel so great at the minute because I'm eating so much from the plots. I haven't even had to go to the supermarket to buy very much at all. Because I've been making risottos and I've been pairing uh, runner beans and all my potatoes with things as well, once a squash start coming through as well, that'll give me a bit more of a meaty product to then uh, combine with salads and things. So I won't even have to buy too much from the supermarket at all. Uh, you know, I'm eating quite self-sufficiently actually with a bit of grain or rice uh, with these meals and it just makes me feel really good because I feel like I haven't been to the supermarket that much to buy things. I feel like I've come a long way just in two short years and I'm finally growing lots of vegetables all year round and it makes me very very happy indeed. Hopefully you found this video useful, inspiring and maybe you'll try out some of the things on your plots too. Do let me know below how have your gardening seasons been so far this year um, have you been affected by anything like blight? Um, is there anything you, you want to do better next year? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!